go. We're going. You're live. Yes, we are. I'll do the motion. Okay. So pretty much what we have on our graph here is, so we have a um, downhill uh, kind of angle going on, and we had to push the car up. And so this was the initial push, and that's why the dots are farther apart, because it had an initial velocity. But since the it was going in the negative direction, that's why the velocity was negative. And since it was slowing down, that means the acceleration was in an opposite direction. And so that means that it would be an opposite or um, value, or what I mean is that since this is negative, that would be positive since it's slowing down. Um, and then for our prediction for the position versus time graph, we had it starting, or we had it for the position going up steeper and then getting flatter because it was because uh, it was starting at the positive and then pushing up fast and then flattening up so it was slowing down and same thing for like the acceleration and the velocity graph uh, for the prediction we thought it would for the acceleration um, it would go up or it would be steeper because from the push it would push it or make it speed up and then slow down Yeah. <laughs> so so um, just a point of clarification, whatever you guys were supposed to represent, you know, the, the motion of the car, the graph, you should not include like the part where it's being pushed or after it was caught because that's just kind of, that, that's not what the car was doing on the hill. So maybe there's pieces of yours that we could kind of erase off and pretend that they didn't exist. So if your car was to be given a push, and then everything would be represented at the moment it leaves your hand and it's doing its own thing. Um, we could probably trim off uh, certain portions of your predictions, which you did on the actual. So, which part of the, like the velocity graph should probably be trimmed off? Part where it's flat, or the part where it's kind of changing? Just thinking about predictions. If I have to do this on a like test, like how should I like? Think about what what I need to have on my graph because your <coughs> actuals look like they've trimmed off the and, and assumed everything was kind of like steady and doing whatever it was going to do nice and smoothly. So, what about your predictions? What parts might you not put on a test prediction graph? It's more of the like slant ups because I believe that's like when we actually caught that initial push, mm -hmm. but that initial push isn't actually the cart, as you said. It's um, us pushing the yeah. cart so it is the initial speed but like it's not the speed as at which it's traveling so we could probably cut off the beginnings where it like slants up real quick and then evens out because that evened out section is the section that we actually need mm -hmm. okay audience um do you agree with the the gist of their actual position time graph on the right I saw some yeses, but I heard one no. Why not? Should what? Should be curved. Should be curved. Okay. Now the question is, does it curve like the position graph there where it started at zero and flattens out? Or should it be different than that? It starts with positive and keeps low and flattens out. So the general start high and low, you like? Okay. So then how should the curve be? Like maybe if you erase that. This is probably due to the scaling, the squished, and how squished down the y-axis was, that it made it look flat. So ah. should, should it go? Why? 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 Yeah. Uh, because it starts with a faster speed, and the speed flattens out after a while, or it slows down. So you have a steeper slope to start, and a flatter slope to so remember what those guys, the first group said about theirs, it started fast, so it had to be steep somehow yeah. or another. So which direction is your guys is moving? To start with your green arrow and your green B, tell us what direction it's moving. Negative. Negative. It's negative. So should your position graph be downhill at the beginning, 
flat or shooting uphill like that one. Yours was, how was it moving at the beginning? You said fast, right? Okay, so it's moving fast but in the negative direction. And these guys are arguing about the angle of the beginning. What did you want to say? I was, I was in the same group, we got the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it should look like a slide for a kid at the elementary playground where it goes steep and flattens out at the bottom. Okay, so re, re, redo that for the sake um, of the final, um, final answer there for those of them that are going to see it on video. So it's like steep, yeah, steep right. at, Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> So you're just saying it should kind of like get down close to the yeah, time. Yeah. It's good enough. Good enough. But yeah. So make a note of that in you guys' packet that it okay. should pretty much go down and hug the zero axis because that the time axis because that's where position is zero. Your velocity time graph. I'm not gonna have these guys comment, but do you like your velocity time graph starting with a big negative value for the velocity? No. Why not? I personally don't. <laughs> Keegan, did you car move fast at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Was it moving in the negative direction at the beginning? Um, yes. So it makes sense that our speedometer, if we had a graph for a speedometer, should be somewhere down in the negative numbers to begin with, because that's the negative velocity. So what do you think? Do you like your middle graph? I like that one. I like it. Sticking by it with confidence. You guys like the middle graph? Yeah. Sweet. Middle oh, graph is good. Uh, where should it end? At the zero. At the zero. So just trim off that little tippy toppy part here. Yeah. Beauty. So it started fast in the negative direction. So let's pretend that beginning was like negative five. Okay. So if you think about putting a number in your brain to make it easy to draw the graphs, and you number it off your graphs, that's a totally, totally great idea, I think. Last but not least, do you have a positive acceleration? Your motion map says you do. Yeah. And your graph says you do. Do you guys agree that they do? No. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Very yeah. good. Thank you.